Renee interviews Tony Storm, who has now won four matches in five days between their various YouTubes and Ring of Honors. I don't know what else. But uh, she brags about this four-win streak. Jamie Hayter's never done this. She's not even here tonight. I'm a different animal now, animal now, Jamie. And if you have any guts, you'll give me a title shot at Double or Nothing. I found out later, apparently, Jamie has some guts because the match is on. Jay White versus Ricky Starks. So this has been a very weird show, as I mentioned. But this was a comfortably traditional main event style match. Jay White runs and hides for a while, takes over, does a lot of brawling. There's some cheating out there. Uh, Starks takes a nasty suplex to the floor, but apparently it was okay. He was running around a minute later. Juice Robinson is out there being Juice Robinson. And uh, it's very not weird. And then... Juice trips Ricky, but he overcomes that. He escapes a Blade Runner, hits a spear, tries the Rochambeau. Well, that's broken up. So Juice is in the ring with a chair, and Ricky takes the chair. He hits Juice with it. He hits JY with it. That is, in fact, a disqualification. The hometown hero was disqualified in the main event match, if not the main event segment. Now is the weirdest dynamite ever. That was just bizarre. Nah, because they're doing more. They're doing more of these finishes. I mean, they've done it on on Rampage. You know, we've had DQs, we've had countouts. We had Jungle Boy got countered out a few weeks ago, and uh, there was I think Darby was DQ'd. Now we got a DQ here. I mean, if you're gonna do a DQ, do it for a good reason. And well, I think there is a good reason. There is a good reason. They're doing Ricky and Jay at the paper. Well, that too. Right? Or right. a tag. Or Why whatever. am I this specifically DQ in the moment? Ricky hit a guy with a chair. You can't do that. But yes, you can't do that. Yeah. But, you know, I've argued for a while that I don't mind a DQ every now and then. Don't want them on every show. Don't want them weekly. But once a month, you know, you've got, you've got between Dynamite and, Ram and, uh, and if you add Rampage, it's about 260 hours. You have 260 hours a year of television. And if you only do clean finishes, I mean, you're not going to want to beat guys. You're not going to want to do matches. You're not going to just, it's okay to have a DQ. It's okay to have a count out. It's okay to have a screw job finish. Just don't overdo it. So I was totally fine with this. Agreed with all that, except it's the hometown hero in the main event match. It's fine. Huh? I mean, he, he got his hand raised. I mean, he could have been beaten. He, he wasn't beaten. So didn't bother me official for the pay-per-view the four pillars four-way which is really now three pillars in jungle boy he can't really be considered a pillar at this point wardlow versus christian in a ladder match ftr versus triple j there's apparently that name is sticking jamie hater versus tony storm and orange cassidy's wacky battle royal main event segment tony Schiavone is going to interview don callis callis comes out he has tons of security out there Crowd is chanting piece of shit at him. He says, I'm not here to talk about what I did to Kenny. I want to talk about what Kenny did to me. The victim is not Kenny Omega. The victim is Don Callis. After everything I did for him, he won the IWGP title because of me. He had the Chris Jericho match at the Tokyo Dome because of me. He won the AEW world title on my first night here because of me. At this point, uh, Omega's music interrupts. He comes out to confront the security guys. But he is attacked by the Blackpool Combat Club from behind, including Danielson, who was not in the earlier segment. Callus vanishes, never seen again. Uh, they stomp Omega down four on one, declare the war over, say it's his final warning, stay down. But not only does he get back to his feet, he is joined by the young bucks who limp out with a whole bunch of plunder. It's still three on four. And so to even the odds, out comes Eye Patch Hangman. Place goes absolutely crazy. He takes the barbed wire broom from Kenny Omega in a sign of unity. They are cleaning house. Omega was trying to find Danielson and could not find him. I don't know where Danielson went either. But eventually, Wheeler Yuta is isolated, slaughtered. They all hit him with their move. And the one thing these elite guys do, uh, if you're a fan of long-term storytelling and details in long-term storytelling, they do the pose with the same camera angle and the same setup where it's the Bucks and Kenny standing in a line in the back of the ring, and Hangman standing alone in the front of the ring and looking back over his shoulder like he's not sure what's going on or what to make of him or who to trust. But this time, Hangman looks at him with his one eye, and he turns and stands beside them. He grabs the mic and says, We are the heart and the soul of the spirit of this place. We are the elite. We are doing 
anarchy in the arena at the pay-per-view. And for a brief moment, for a very, very brief moment, John Moxley actually looked shook. He recovered. He got over it. He's down for a fight. But uh, it was a pretty big deal. So this was a great segment. This was tremendous. I was watching this, and first off, I was disappointed that Don only got like 30 seconds of talk. Even though he's a despicable shit fucker, he's still... A skilled promo. He still should have gotten more time to talk, but they had to get things going. And uh, he had so much heat, though. If he would have kept going, like, this dude was almost at Dominic Mysterio levels of heat. I mean, they were angry at this guy. So he's doing his promo, and then, you know, Kenny comes out in the big brawl, and man, they hit that hangman music, and this place was so happy. This is a multi-year storyline, and he came out, he joined up with his old friends, the elite, they cleared the ring, they stood tall, they challenged for that deal, and uh, I'll be the guy. You know, Wednesday was supposed to be such a big day. It was supposed to be the day that they announced their brand new show on Saturday night. Now they've got their version of SmackDown. They've got Dynamite on Wednesday. They got two more hours live on Saturday night, which they'll be paid something for. We don't know what, but now they've, you know, they've got a solid two shows. They've got a television deal. It's one of the biggest nights in the history of the company. Then on top of that, the culmination of that multi-year storyline, Hangman and the Elite are back together again, all overshadowed by CM Punk, rage Instagramming all afternoon. I mentioned this to you privately. I'll just say the same thing here. How is it possible that the straight edge guy is the weirdest dude in all of wrestling? Weirder? In fact, than all the addicts and alcoholics. How does that work? You know, I don't have an answer for you, but. Yeah. So anyway, that was the uh, Dynamite show. Thought that that final angle was great. Yes. Uh, the Jericho match was great. Thought there was some good wrestling on the show, but there were highs and lows, and uh, we still got another show. If you don't count Rampage, before the pay per view, but we now have like six, seven matches, so we're getting that card yeah. together. In, all in all, that show was a win. Yes. It was not perfect, and it was... Like you can also find me at Vincent Verhey on Cameo. Oh, my God. I will send you a happy birthday wish. <laughs> I will send you a happy anniversary wish. Granny, you ever thought about being on Cameo? What is it? My computer, my front page is uh, Microsoft, and I go through there and see all kinds of lies and stuff like that. And here you are. You're doing a commercial, and then you had me on there... When I was ranting about WrestleMania, did you get my permission? Oh, okay. Wait, wait, <laughs> what? Just, just stop You're... for a second. Your front page is Microsoft. I yeah. guess. I don't even know what that means, your front page is Microsoft. What do you mean you go through there and see all the lies? What does that mean? Well, they have a whole bunch of stuff, you know, about this and that and this and that, you know, all kinds like of news. Like the news? News? I don't post the videos. I don't edit the videos. If you saw some video or some commercial... I have no idea what it is or where it came from or who edited it together. I'm sure it was someone from the site. It's not no, Tony, it's not and it's not Dave, and it's not me. And it's not Vinny. He's busy doing cameos. That's right. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.